Right, I haven't got time to fire up the fancy cameras today, but I just wanted to give you an update on some clever thinking that's been done out and about. So let me tilt this camera down and show you what I'm doing. So in the user guide for DX Commander, or you want to um, build a you know dipole or something, it, it's very easy, very cool to slip some you know heat shrink on and, and heat it up. So I'll just do that for you. Now, depending on the type of character you are, you can then burn your fingers slightly <laughs> and really squish the glue out into the two. And that, in the main, works unless it's extremely hot. OK, if it is extremely hot, Jonathan and I came up with the idea of putting a cable tie near the end, about there. And that obviously cut it, make it nice. And that seems to work really well as well. And that stops, you know, as it as it gets hot during the day, it doesn't slip. Right. Hello. Oh, oh, hello. That's my two meter rig going off. Now, Matt, and you've met Matt before on the channel, has created these little things. And there's a link to download these on in the description or you can buy them off him as well or you can print them yourself all right i mean it's a bit of a hassle but he's done it so that dx10 wire just fits into this really well then he supplies a little cap to put on the top and he supplies a little cable tie and there you've got a really super secure kind of end piece which i thought was really cool well done matt and isabel for working that one out so i've put a link in the description where you go and buy them or download them and print them off yourself and if that fails that seems to work very well as well with the cable tie all right little tip for end of dipoles things like that all right that's all I have for you today. Uh, may the force be with you. Enjoy your radio. Bye for now.